Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with a, another live attack video, and it has been quite a while since I've done one, uh, but I'm excited to get back to this series. Um, so if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and tell me you uh, enjoyed it in the comments so I know to keep making these type of videos. But um, anyway, I'm taking on a Town Hall 10. We're kind of facing a weird uh, clan with a bunch of under-upgraded Town Hall 10s like this one. And the game plan for this is basically just to start off with a few barbs and a wizard on that army camp, just get it taken out for my queen walk, then drop down a giant to tank uh, my queen, and then uh, three healers on the queen. Uh, basically just let her take out the enemy queen, uh, take out the point defense. Uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue because the point defense is pretty low level. Um, so she should stay at pretty high health and then just walk around the base this way. Um, once she gets uh, that first compartment cleared out, um, I'm going to drop a hog and lure out the CC troops. Um, 25 troop space, so can't be a lava hound or a golem or anything. I have two poison spells, which I'll just drop uh, both on the CC. Um, I shouldn't even have to use her ability. should just uh, take it out along with the poison spells. And then let her continue on her walk and then start to deal with the defenses in this compartment, I might use her ability, but while that's happening um, up top here, I'm coming in with a golem right here, then just a few wizards to create the funnel on each side. I'm going to wall break her in right uh, up here, and I have the one golem, a CC4 of max giants, and then eight of my own Valks. i going to drop a jump, and then I have two rages. I probably won't have to use either one for the queen walk. So I can probably just use two rages, one and then two. Just keep those Valks moving, a uh, very compact core. They should tear right through it and get both those Inferno Towers. That's basically the goal of the eight Valks and the Giants I have. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my remaining Hogs, which is about eight, like right here. Get that heal spell down right away. And because that compartment's so compact, they should just uh, walk right through that compartment, take out all those defenses and that pretty much deals with the entire base. Um, obviously should have troops left over in each part of the attack, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I should get the three star as long as the queen walk goes well, um, so wish me luck. I'm gonna hop, hop back into Clash of Clans and hopefully uh, get this thing done. All right, uh, make sure I have everything. Uh, got the three healers, the hogs. Um, Yep, everything's looking pretty good. Got the giants, the heroes. Um, yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. All right, number seven. Okay. All right, looks like we got some people on, so I um, should get a weird train going, assuming I get the three star here, uh, which hopefully I do. So let's do this. All right, let's get this barb going. Two barbs actually. One, two, wizard. Uh, is it gonna get it? Yeah, nice job. All right, that, queen. One, two, three. All right. How's that queen doing? I'm gonna have to pop her ability. Don't wanna take any chances. Um, she got pretty low there. I can go ahead and use a rage if I have to as she walks around, but just don't want to take any chances. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and lure out the CC right here with the hog. This is a good time to do it. Uh, looks like it's a dragon, wizard. Um, so I can go ahead and poison this stuff up. And yeah, I don't even have to use a rage. She's good. Um, is she going to go the right way on me? Let me just make sure she goes the right way, then I'll start this attack. Nope. Alright, change of plans. We're coming in from the bottom. Golem. That's not even tanking for everything. I'll drop a Valk. Wizard. Uh, let's see, a Hog and a Wizard. Got to start to improvise a little bit here. Bust in right there. King, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, giants. Uh, jump spell. The queen went down. That's not good. Um, get this stuff going. 
All right. That's making its way through. Looking all right. Drop another rage. Keep everything moving. Uh, I'll use the king's ability in just a moment. Uh, let's get these seven hogs going. Giant bomb went off, but all right. We might be a little bit short here. Yeah, that last inferno didn't quite go down. Um, dang, this is gonna be a fail. Uh, queen went the wrong way. That didn't help. Um, I'm not sure if the heal how the healers went down or whatever. I guess just cutting across the base, but um, it's gonna be a fail, and that sucks. Cause this base. Um, wasn't that high upgraded, so um, it happens though. Uh, we'll watch the replay when uh, this is over, see what I could have done better. Um, I think I just got a little bit unlucky on the queen, to be honest. Uh, not trying to make excuses, just don't know why she went that way. Uh, we'll take a look at the replay. All right, um, let's see, nice try, good plan, bad luck, I'm sure someone could restart it. Yeah, queen went the wrong way. Anyway, I will take a look at the replay, um, see what I could have done better, because uh, I think he was right. It was a good plan. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the replay, because uh, it did obviously go wrong at some point, and I think it started with the queen walk. So um, first of all, just looking at the giant, the queen didn't really come out as far as I thought she would have, so uh, it takes a moment for my queen to actually engage. Um, maybe should have used the rage, maybe not, I don't know. Because uh, the queen gets pretty low right here, go, go ahead and pop her ability. Uh, just because the mortar on her, she was not healing up, she was maybe even losing health. So couldn't take a risk that early, and um, obviously I wasn't expecting to have to use her ability again. Because uh, I had the two poisons for the CC troops. Um, so just looking at it, she takes out that, and then it looks like right here she's going to engage the CC troops, and it's that elixir storage that actually pulls her, so maybe I should have dropped her a little higher up and let her take out that elixir storage earlier, and I guess that would have um, made her go back the other way. So anyway, I wait right here for a moment, um, and... I think she should have targeted that Builder's Hut, in my opinion, but uh, I guess the Wizard Tower was closer. And it was that Air Sweeper that got onto her. That's what really cost me, because there wasn't a whole lot of point defense on her. It was just really that Air Sweeper that started to get her. Um, I'll keep an eye on her up top as we take a look at everything down here. Obviously, I had to waste a bunch of troops creating the funnel here because the Golem didn't draw aggro. Oh, and look, that Inferno Tower got in the Queen. That's what really hurt her. Yeah, she got too close to that Inferno. It melted her. Uh, she couldn't heal her back up. But anyway, had to um, take a little bit of unnecessary damage. I was should have dropped the Giants before the Valks. That was just kind of a stupid decision um, in the heat of the moment. Just drop the Valks too early. Uh, so they get out in front. The Expo start doing work on them. Uh, but had quite a bit of juice, I think, still going through here. Um, obviously, like I said, the Valks are getting targeted too early. Uh, but everything's going down for the most part. That one Inferno obviously doesn't go down. Uh, Giant Bomb goes off. That didn't help. And... Uh, the king actually takes the jump back the other way. He probably would have got that Inferno. Yeah, definitely. He would have got that Inferno, but he decided um, not to. So, yeah, it happens. Uh, you can see the hogs. They hit an early giant bomb, which kind of sucked, but uh, and like a ton of skeleton traps. So, I mean, these kind of bases just have weird traps like that. And uh, like they, the guy said in the channel, it'll be an easy cleanup, I think. Um, but for this one, it's going to be a fail. So hope you guys enjoyed the attack nonetheless. Uh, and let me know if you want to see more of this uh, live attack series. Because I will continue it if you guys enjoy it. So make sure to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll kind of be in the dark on that one. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, though. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, even though it was a fail. And, yep, fails do happen. So uh, I show a lot of success in my recaps. But this does happen. Anyway, that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.